Welcome to Electron Line. When you look at this problem at first, you think, wow, there's not a lot I can do with this. It doesn't appear like there's much we can simplify. But let's go ahead and try it anyway and see what happens. In the numerator, at least, we can factor out a 2. So let's start with that. So this is equal to 2 times, and what we have left is a y squared plus 1. Again, if you multiply this times this, you end up back with the numerator you started with. In the denominator, we can probably group that in two groups of two, and then see if there's something common in each group. Well, in the first group, it looks like we can factor out a y squared. So when we do that, we get y squared times y minus 5. And here, I can't factor out anything, but just to make it easier to see what we're doing, we're going to write it as plus 1 times y minus 5. Because when we do that, we can see that there's a common factor between here and here. We have a y minus 5 here, we have a y minus 5 there, which can be factored out. When we do that, we get the following. In the numerator, we still have 2 times y squared plus 1. And in the denominator, when we factor out a y minus 5, you can see that you're left with a y squared plus 1 again. And now notice that since this is multiplied and this is multiplied, we can go ahead and simplify by canceling this with this. And now we're finally left with 2 divided by y minus 5. And that's the simplest form of this original problem. So you can see that at first it didn't look like we could simplify much, but when you use the grouping technique, it is factorable and you can then simplify it to that simple form. And that's how it's done.